I'm Evelyn Yazichby. I'm from Tatankanaji. I'm a Dakota person, and I'd like to invite all the First Nation people to the language conference November 26th and 27th of 2014, Saskatoon, in. <laughs> Our language is very important to us, which I've lost when I went to residential school, but I'm very proud of myself to pick up some of the language again because when I went to residential, a lot of my uh, grandmothers, my parents were gone. So we struggled to find um, other relations to help us pick up this language. And I think it's important we should have it in our schools, in our homes, wherever we go, like, because it's one of our important parts of our lives. It's like the heart that's beating, our bodies. We need, we need this. This is very important for our children. And to even just a little bit of Dakota or some Dakota I know I, I like to enjoy to share with my grandchildren. The counting up to ten, some prayers, which when we go to a ceremony we have to tell them this is the way we, we our ways are and you have to respect our values. The values are this is how we sit and when you go to feast and not to talk to learn how to listen and these and to this last two days I was so proud to be here to hear all the elders speak and to have their own language and I said oh I wish that was me you know because I was so proud of them they don't need money they just need their own language their own self to survive and to teach us. I think this is the most important thing of this and some of the things I know they don't have to share but we can understand that part when it's time for them to let us know the, of the cultures like we were talking about the sweat lodges and that and I know we can only go so far with that and I have that respect for them. And uh, for, our, like, our children need it. We're, they're lost. We have to try to bring them back into the circle. And, and I don't know how we're going to do it, but maybe this is our way of getting back our children to help them because we are, they are not on the right road. <laughs> And uh, I, they always say the red road, and this is what we walk with, us Dakota people, Lakota people. And it's a beautiful road. It's a beautiful way to get up. Our jobs, when we go to our jobs, we can pray, driving down the road and thanking the Creator. This is a good day, and we're only going to do our best. And that's all you're asking us for, and we will try to do that today and try to help someone. Like, because I work with the women at the shelter, and sometimes you come home very sad, and you hope that day you'll make them happy and to help them in some way because our women too are helpless and the children. So I hope these languages continue and maybe in the next generation in life our people will be healthier. Metakulous. <laughs>